Hi there, I'm Kieran. Today, I'm going to be talking about the different kinds of tools that you can use to audit your smart contract code. Now, you don't need to be a professional auditor um, to be able to audit your course. Pretty much anyone can do it, and these days there are a lot of automated tools available, which will really help in analyzing your code uh, before you can give your code smart contract for an official audit. Uh, it's still good to you know do some manual revisions and so on and so forth. But before we talk about that, let's let's give it a little background of uh, these this auditing industry so far. So as we know, the DeFi and NFT space is growing rapidly, attracting millions of people into the platform. And the promise of Web 3.0 with regards to privacy, freedom, and financial decentralization is getting traction. But along with it, has also given to rise theft and manipulation that many hackers use. There are a lot of breaches and hacks happening every single week in the various smart contracts, both big and small. On February of this year, 2022, Poly Network lost a total of $611 million to hackers who exposed the security flaws of Poly's unverified contracts, while the Ronin Bridge that was used to move funds and assets from and to the Axie Infinity Games blockchain lost about $615 million because of a critical vulner vulnerability in the bridge's operations. Now, um, there are a lot of uh, automated tools that you can use on when it comes to auditing your code. Uh, obviously, there are advantages and disadvantages. Some of the advantages are speed. Doing the same thing manually would take a lot of time, so you would be saving some time if you use automated tools uh, for your audit. Next thing is visibility. Uh, there are a lot of visualization tools that you can use that give more context and give you more data to work with. Uh, another advantage is simplicity because automated tools are very simple and easy to use. So if nothing else, this is the number one benefit of using them. Now, with that said, there are also disadvantages of using automated tools. For instance, testing for business logic vulnerabilities. It's harder to test your business logic with automated tools because a tool cannot look at all the use cases that you would run into in real life. Um, and updating the knowledge base is also really hard and because it cannot be done automatically uh, or you cannot generate an audit report with detailed information as you would be able to do just doing a ma manual audit. And last but not least, there are also going to be some false positives where automated tools are not perfect by any means. And chances are you may get a lot of false positives, even if that's not really the case. Now, one of the first tools that we're going to take a look at today is Solidity Visual Auditor. Um, this is an extension for uh, Visual Studio Code that contributes um, security centri centric syntax and, and semantic highlighting, a detailed class outline, specialized view, views, advanced solidity code insights and augmentation to Visual Studio Code. Uh, so you get a lot of that there. Um, now, um, some of the uh, screenshots that I have over here is this is basically where you would install um, the, the extension here. Um, and this is what it would look like um, if you were to use this tool. So um, let me just zoom in here a little bit. So, um, you know, it, it's, it's really, it makes your life a lot easier when you can visualize a lot of these things um, in your smart contract code. For instance, as you can see here um, with this uh, GIF, it, you can visualize a lot of the things that's happening under the hood within your smart contract code using this uh, this extension right here. All right, next is this is also an example a screenshot of, um, of using this uh, extension here. All in all, um, you know it's a really good uh, visual auditor tool that you can you can have under your arsenal. All right, and one of the next visualization tools we're going to look at is, is called Surya. It's an utility. It's a utility tool for smart contract systems. It provides a number of visual outputs and information about the contracts uh, structure. Also, it supports querying the function call graph in multiple ways to aid in the manual uh, inspection of contracts. Um, Surya is really used by Solidity Visual Auditor. You, you saw this GIF earlier. This is basically Surya in action. It's basically used to generate and show different graphs uh, for, for your code. That's Surya. Next, we're going to look at Solgraph. Solgraph is a tool to generate a dot graph. Basically, it's a graph description language that visualizes the function 
control flow of a Solidity contract and highlights potential security vulnerabilities. Some features include being able to detect vulnerable, vulnerable Solidity code with low false positives, identifying where the error condition occurs in the source code, um, and average execution time being less than you know one second per contract. So it's really, really useful when it comes to generate these different kind of graphs um, that, that you see here. It really gives you that high level overview of the code that you're writing. So it's a really good visualization tool to also be using sometimes. Next, we're gonna look at Piet. It's a web application uh, to clarify understanding of smart contract architectures. It offers graphical representation and inspection of smart contracts, as well as a markdown documentation generator. The graphical represent representation shows the inheritance structure, uh, you can see here, um, of Solidity contracts, including the defined enumer enumerations and structs. So that's what um, Piet does. Let me just zoom out or zoom in, sorry, a little bit here. All right, next we're gonna be looking at, um, we looked at visualization tools, so now we're gonna be looking at some static and dynamic analysis tools. And one of the first ones we're gonna look at is uh, MythX. It's basically a smart contract uh, security service for, um, for Ethereum. So what it is, is it's a powerful uh, security analysis service that finds uh, Solidity vulnerabilities uh, in your Ethereum smart contracts uh, code during your development cycle here. So you can see here, it is really useful when you want to analyze, um, you know, uh, different there that may be in your code, like integer overflow, underflow. So it's a really good tool to to use uh, to analyze your code, uh, you know, so you get more information there. All right, next one is Mithril. Mithril is an open source component of MythX that we just talked about. Um, Mithril is a security um, analysis tool for EVM bytecode. It detects uh, vulnerabilities in smart contracts um, um, built for Ethereum, Hedera, Quorum, VeChain, uh, Rustock, Tron, and other EVM compatible blockchains. And it uses symbolic execution, so uh, SMT solving and taint analysis to detect a very variety of security vulnerabilities. It's also used in combination with other tools and techniques in the MythX security analysis platform. So this is basically the open source component of MythX, uh, Mithril, I mean. So this is a really good security analysis tool uh, to, to utilize. All right, next we're gonna look at Slither. Slither is a Solidity uh, static analysis uh, framework. Um, through its printer, uh, printers, it can map method visibility um, and modifiers. Uh, it can map state variables um, that are read and written. It can also identify um, calls, uh, print the inheritance graph of a smart contract. So there's a lot of, a lot of things uh, that you can do here with, with something like Slither. Um, so you see here, uh, you know, you get a lot of information here. Um, and it's a, uh, when it comes to, um, you know, uh, being a complete framework set of tools uh, to use for your Solidity code, to analyze your Solidity code. So it's, you know, it, it can give a lot of pointers here. For instance, it says that there are around four optimization issues that you can resolve and information list here is there's nine you know, uh, in high issues, there's one of them. So it's just really useful when it comes to um, checking out, um, you know, getting that visibility into the state variables um, that are in your code. All right, well, with that said, that's basically it uh, for the tools that you'll be using to audit your smart contract code. I hope you can utilize them in your own um, development lifecycle. Uh, for more on smart contract security, using static and analysis to audit the contracts, to learn how to optimize gas and how to perform an automated and manual audit of your smart contract yourself, stay tuned for our new upcoming course called Smart Contract Security 201. We have an upcoming live stream scheduled to talk more about this. You can register on the link provided below so you can attend the live stream where we'll cover the topics such as intro to the course, job market for smart contract auditors, 
why smart contracts, uh, contract audits are important, roadmap to becoming a smart contract auditor, like what to learn, where to find jobs, Q&A with the instructor of the course, along with two other professional auditors who have been in the industry for quite a long time. And but last but not least, we'll also open access to our new smart contract security 201 course. In the meantime, this is um, our uh, second course. So the first course you can check out is called uh, Smart Contract Security 101. Uh, this covered different vulnerabilities you can find on smart contracts um, here, like re-entrancy attacks, um, uh, denial of service attacks, overflow, those kind of things. So feel free to check this out in preparation for the upcoming new course that we're launching um, with this live stream. So we will see you then.